Hello everyone, welcome again. In today's class, we'll talk about these five biology, which mean we will talk about human health, nutrition, and disease. In this topic, we'll see several basic things. The first thing we'll talk about the human health, the nutrition, and also the disease that affect human beings. I wish to have a nice class, so let's talk about the first thing. So, at this unit, you'll talk about the human health, one thing, one point, the nutrition, and also this is, these are the main points that will focus. So, in the first part, as you can, you have to recall the framework of this unit, focus on human business health. Nutrition and what this is. so the whole thing or the whole chapter will focus on these basic things. So, the first thing, as you can see, what nutrition is, as you know, human beings and other living things can, can ha I mean, have to eat or feed themselves. So, the first point will be. So in this unit, we'll focus the first thing, what food is. The first point, what we'll discuss, what food is. Next class, the second point of the unit, we'll talk about what nutrition is. And the third point of the unit talks or describes about the nutrients. What are nutrients, their category and their groups also. So as the fourth point, Point will talk about the balanced diet. What what does it mean when you say about balanced diets? What are balanced diets? What should be included in the balanced diet list? We'll talk about the quality and the quantity of balanced diets. On the fifth point, we'll talk about some deficiency diseases. Those diseases are a result of the deficiency or lack or shortage of certain nutrients. It might be a vitamin, it might be a mineral, it might be something other. It might be a lack of protein, it might be lack of carbohydrates, something like that. So, the disease that uh, result due to the deficiency of some nutrients is known as deficiency disease. So, we'll talk about the natures and the types of some deficiency disease in relation with the nutrients. The other thing we'll talk about the malnutrition. It is the wrong type of nutrition or the wrong type of feeding. On the seventh point, we'll talk about substance abuse. Under this, we'll talk about what drug abuse are, what are substances that can be abused at or that can be changed with or changed to addiction through frequent use. So. On the eighth point, we'll talk about infectious and non-infectious diseases. There are different types of natures. Infectious diseases can be transmitted from pupil to pupil, whereas non-infectious diseases, they are a disease, they are diseases that can affect individuals, but they can no transmitted from one individual to the other through different mechanisms or ways. So these are the main points what we will discuss in unit 5. So, uh, under 5.2, we'll talk about infectious disease. Under 5.2, which means on the second point of 5.8, we'll talk about the non infectious diseases such as BP and others. So, the first point what is food? What's food? Just it's simple. Food is a beneficial substance that is eaten, drunk, or what? Taken into the body. So, a food is any substance which is beneficial to human beings that can be what? Eaten, that can be drunk, that can be what? Taken into the body. So, this is a simple definition of food. It can be eaten, it can be drunk, it can be what? Taken into the body. So the other point, food is used. What's the use of food? Food is 
used to sustain what life wanting and also provide energy and also promote growth growth sustain life to sustain our life or to lead i mean continue our life and also it is essential to provide energy which if you're capable us to do different works the other thing it is important to promote what growth it is important for growth if there is no sufficient or balanced food the growth of the individual can be what retarded retarded or it might be slow and also for it is to what it and also Food can be, it's a, it can be a plant form, it can be an animal form, it can be fungal origin. So the source of the food can be, it might be a plant, just as a cabbage, a carrot, a rootbed, a potato, orange, mango, ananas, I mean pineapple, and so on. And also, um, it might be an animal, just a beef an animal a beef or a meat or it might be an egg it might be a milk also it it's source it can be the source can be an animal and also some foods can be comes from fungal origin okay food contains essential nutrients just to talk about food its source source can be plant animal and fungal food contain essential nutrients nutrients are the chemical substances that are found in a food or the chemical substances from which a food is produced so food uh, contains essential nutrients such as carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and also minerals minerals it, in addition to this you have to remember that these fats can be grouped as lipids they are also known as lipids lipids which includes the fats as well as well the the fats the fats and also the oils oils these are oils these are kind of group just lipids so uh, these are the essential nutrients that are found in a food and the other point the importance of food in living things what is the necessity of food so the first thing as you know food is essential for what growth purpose for making look new cells tissues and organs so if there is no sufficient food it is difficult to have new cells to have new tissues and also to have new organs as a result there is no proper growth unless we get a proper what food for the other point it is essential to give energy the other important it gives energy so living things undergo different biological and chemical reactions in their bodies including human beings there are different biological such as breathing such as reproduction such as circulatory system such as growth such as development and so on so as different muscular uh, reactions and also there are so chemical reactions in our body such as the aerobic reactions chemical reactions uh, anaerobic chemical reactions so those chemical reactions and biological reactions are need what energy so human beings and other animals can get this energy what from the food they eat this reaction in living things produce at the same time what require energy any chemical reactions about food is the source of energy that fuel all the biological activities it's a source of energy food the other thing look for example it is essential it is it, must, it is essential what to have energy for what running energy is essential for jumping energy is important what for moving from one place to another and also energy is important for growing and also it is important reprodu reproducing and all other activities require what energy this energy comes from what the food it comes from the food that we eat so the third 
importance of the full replacement of damaged tissues or cells. And also, in, in this point, we have to recall for making new cells, there must be what? Food. And also, there must be a food to replace damaged or worn out cells. So, the time our cells are what? So they worn, they become old, they become damaged or destroyed. So, these cells should be replaced. For example, red blood cells have a lifespan of around 120 days, which means three months. After three months, they what? They will be damaged or they will be, they will be died. After that, they should be replaced. So this replacement is possible when you have proper food. So for generally, food is the third important replacement of damaged or worn out tissues. The fourth importance of food protect from disease. To protect our body from what? Deficiency disease and to become healthy. To become healthy and to protect disease, we have to eat sufficient foods such as fruits, vegetables, and other sorts of foods. So these are the four basic importance of what? Food. So as the cues write the importance of food in living things based on our discussions. One, two, three, four, put on the comment side. Put this on the comment side. And we'll, in next class we'll talk about in next class we'll talk about the nutrition part 5.2. Until then have a nice time. Bye bye.